Today we're in County Durham with Cox Agri, a recent customer, and I'd like to introduce Ian Spore. Hello. Ian, would you like to tell us a little bit about your business up here? Look okay. here, uh, Cox Agri, uh, we've been in business since 1850. Predominantly we supply uh, animal husbandry products to the uh, agricultural market. One of the main sections of our business is actually uh, animal identification, such as RFID tags, uh, tags for sheep, cattle and pigs, uh, as well as goats. Our proposition for the EID market for sheep this year, we've got a close working relationship with HID Global on the supply of their glass transponders, which basically fit into this section here of the uh, of the tag. We can program these tags after after lasering them, and then send them out to our uh, customers and the uh, merchant trades direct. The reason why we actually position ourselves next to HID Global. Uh, was basically because of the quality. What we can't do is have a tag which we produce here and then fails at the abattoir or fails to read at the market. If you can't read an animal, it's useless. It has to be returned back to farm, which is obviously a great expense to the farmer and to the industry as a whole. So we must have something which is reliable and something which really performs every time. So we made a conscious decision to go with uh, HID Global. What we want to do here now is read the actual EID tag with the stick reader. So every, every time I move the... Uh the reader from one hour to another, it's reading the tags, so even though I'm actually able to read each one over and over, it's not actually storing those. One of the uh, devices we've got here is a, an Iconix uh, electronic weighing system. We can scan the tag and that information can be transmitted to the weigher, so that saves a lot of time and effort in actually having to uh, manually enter each animal's number. You can then transfer the information from the stick reader onto your computer. And then obviously once you've got the information on there you can make a lot of practical use for both legislation and management purposes. So recording things like veterinary treatments or um, movements of the animal on and off the holding. From the farmer's point of view, if he embraces uh, AID um, within the tag and traceability, what it can do is he can then uh, better manage his livestock. The benefit from the government you know, and the tracking of, of animals uh, around the marketplace uh, and I guess uh, the third one which I haven't mentioned is the, uh, is the supermarkets. If the supermarkets are buying the meat then they want to see the provenance behind it and the, the only way you can get that provenance is by looking at the traceability which can be easily done with, uh, with the ID.